Hello and welcome everyone. This is Beyond Tutorials. I'm going to call it 2.5. Um, I just need to go over something before we continue. Right now we have a mob, and the mob is set to circ.icon player mob.dmi. This is how we kind of end it off with. But before we go any further, we shouldn't make this a mob, and you'll see why later on. What we should have is a separate um, mob called player. Like we did with the grass, the grass was part of a turf, now the player is going to be part of the mob. So you can call, you can make this icon equal to the mob's icon. So play, ah. Player, mob, dot, DMI. And if you build and run, oh. You can comment out this. If you build and run, you notice your guy is invisible. That's because right now it doesn't know that we want it to start as mob.player. It's starting as mob still, that's like the default, and we're trying to switch the default. So this is going to be a bit of coding. What we want to do is show you some coding now. So what I want to do is when the player logs in, so when a pl person logs in, and this can be done um, with something special, um, special proc called login. We'll talk about procs and that stuff later once you start building your own. But for now, um, I'll just tell you, um, login happens when the mob, when the mob or you log in and this is the code that starts. So what you want to do is define what the player is. And this way you can do is you can do variable. Var is short for variable. And you can make a variable out of the player. So mob player. And of course this is equal to this. So you're making this variable, it's equal to this player and then you have to put one more dash and make it what you want to call it. So usually I just call it by the first letter, so I'll just call it P. And then what you can do is um, search dot client. So the client is the client is a variable that is equal to not a mob, not a turf, not an object. But a client is in reference to basically a player. And so what we want to turn is turn the mob. Um, the mob that is by default a, the client, we want to turn the um, mob slash player into the client. So by doing this, we say p.client is equal to client, and what we want to do is make um, an enter, press enter. Um, this tree system I have is very important. After the login, after any proc, we'll talk, like I said, talk about procs later. Put in, put another tab. Um, we can all look all nice and pretty. So p.client is now equal to circ.client. Now let's just test and see what we have. Have a bunch of errors. Cannot modify null.client. Okay, this is closer to what I wanted. So, new just makes it a new object. So, for our mob, player p equals new, create a new one in the world p.client equals circ.client and now to fix these errors um, what p.client is trying to do is log into the player and to fix this just put login just like that and then the mob player knows that it can log in so no errors we're all good we're all, we're all in the clear but as you can see it's invisible and now this is where you can define where the location of you want your mob to be so 
so now you can do P, because remember, um, now we're not using mob, using P. Oh, and I totally forgot, I didn't explain circ. Circ is equal to the current tree that you're under. So circ right now is equal to mob, because that's the current tree you're under. So the P.client is equal to the mob.client, because we're using this right now. So that now we can do P, which is equal to mob player. P is equal to P dot move. And now I'll show you a bit of the documents. What is let's go into some procs and see what move does and let's go into beyond.com. Let's go to beyond.com, go to developers go to reference. When you get to reference, you'll get to a website that looks like this. Well, not quite. None of these things will be open. You get something like this, and what you want to go down to is procs. And these are a bunch of things um, that you can call that will do specific things. But what we're looking for, and it's probably not in here, Atom, movable, proc, move. So, this you can put a bunch of variables in. Uh, we don't need to worry about step X or step Y for now. Um, that's more the defined movements, and talk, well, maybe talk about those later, or maybe you can guess. These are kind of like the pixels. So, the first two are about getting your new location, your direction. Um, the direction would just be north, south, west, east, in capitals. Um, step X is the specific pixel location in um, the lo lo location you're going in, because this new lock will be a specific tile space. This would be the direction you want to face. This is a specific X pixel, this is a specific Y pixel. And so this tells you documentation about it. And I'm gonna go easy on you and kinda show you how to do it. So P dot move locate. I don't know what a locate proc is, but it basically defines specific tile space. So the first X tile, the first Y tile, um, on the first Z plane. And we'll talk about Z's later. But let's not get into that right now. And you don't really need a direction. Um you're just moving to your starting point. You can use the default direction. You don't need anything else right now. And you should be able to run it. And there's your player. But now he's not defined as a mob, he's defined as a player. And we'll get into why this is important later. You'll start seeing, basically the importance is because if you make, yeah, maybe I shouldn't get into it actually. No, you just know that you need to know that do this, and this is important for efficiency purposes, and so that other characters like enemies don't have a bunch of things that the player only should have. Because if you put everything to the mob, all things below mob, like enemies, will have things that players will have, like variables they don't need, like. Um, variables that keep track of XP. Why would a mo why would an enemy have an XP bar or want to keep track of it? It won't. But you're giving it these senseless things to keep track of, even though it doesn't need it. And so this is just about efficiency purposes. And my game doesn't even have this right now. My game, my main character is still under the mob, the main mob tree, which is kind of inefficient, and I'm gonna have to change a bunch of things. So this is good to just start out and have your player. Um, not directly under the mob tree, but under a mob slash player tree. And just before we close off, um, again, you can name this whatever you want. These aren't the fine things. This is the fine. Login is the fine proc. This, this is the fine. Bar mob slash player is the fine off this tree. P, you can call, it's not the fine thing. I can call whatever I want. New, obviously, it's in blue letters. It just makes, um, just makes a new one. Just makes a new mob of this. 
So I think that's very specific, and I hope I didn't leave anything out. Um, so these are tutorials on just a good efficiency um, rule, something you should start off with. I usually don't because I'm lazy, but I'll need to change it eventually in my own game. So thank you for watching, and I'm going to get to that AI tutorial pretty quickly. So, see you.